If you've ever given platelets, you may wonder what happens to your donation after you leave the donor center. All donations from all of our collection sites, from Eugene to Bellingham, are tested and processed at our main lab outside of Seattle. Upon arrival, our lab staff inspect and sort the units. A small sample is removed from each unit and submitted to our quality control laboratory to confirm the number of doses that can be made from each unit, single, double, or triple. After sampling, contents are split between two storage bags while our donor testing lab confirms that it's safe for patient transfusion. Platelets need to keep moving or they'll stick together. This is what they're supposed to do, but we don't want it to happen until they're given to a patient. Once we get the all clear from donor testing, about 24 hours after the collection, the contents of each donation are combined back into a single bag and another sample is removed for bacterial testing. While we take every measure possible to reduce the chance of bacterial growth in each donation, we can't remove all risk, and septic reactions can be very dangerous. The contents are then redistributed according to the number of doses determined by the QC lab. The second sample from each unit is placed inside a bottle with a growth medium and put in a special incubator for five days, the shelf life of platelets. If there's any bacterial growth, a disc on the bottom of the bottle will change color, the machine will detect it and alert us, and we can pull the unit before it gets transfused. Each product is inspected, labeled with the corresponding ABO blood type, and the ABO label confirmed in our system. When ready, platelet products are inspected and packed into insulated boxes, which our transportation staff pick up to deliver to hospitals. We don't know who will receive your donation, but you can feel great knowing that each one will make a difference for a local patient. Thank you.